The anticipation around Sony's next-generation mirrorless camera, the Sony A7 V, has reached fever pitch across the global creator community, and for good reason. Sony's track record of innovation in hybrid cameras, especially with models like the A7 IV, A7 RV, and FX3, has set an incredibly high bar for what's possible in both photography and videography. But now, all eyes are on what could be the next big leap in Sony's Alpha series, a camera designed not just to refine the formula but to redefine it entirely. If the rumors are true, the Sony A7 V might merge flagship-level power with a more accessible form factor, blurring the line between professional cinema rigs and compact mirrorless flexibility. As someone who's built my creative business entirely around Sony gear, from weddings and sports shoots to cinematic YouTube productions, I can say that this is the camera many of us have been waiting for. Imagine a camera with a brand new stacked BSI sensor that virtually eliminates rolling shutter, offering faster readout speeds, deeper dynamic range, and clean low-light performance even at extreme ISO levels. Imagine shooting full-frame 4K at 60 or 120 frames per second without any crop, maintaining perfect sharpness across the frame, and pairing that with 10-bit 4,2,2 color depth or maybe even internal RAW recording for the ultimate color grading flexibility. Now add to that the possibility of AI-driven autofocus similar to what Sony introduced in the A7 RV, intelligent enough to recognize humans animals, vehicles, and even drones in motion, locking on with absolute precision and confidence. The idea of combining that level of subject tracking with improved autofocus sensitivity in low light makes this an absolute dream tool for filmmakers, wedding shooters, and hybrid creators who can't afford missed moments. But video isn't the only focus here. If Sony pushes the megapixel count slightly higher while maintaining strong low light performance, photographers will enjoy sharper stills, improved detail retention, and a sensor that plays beautifully with the company's ever-expanding G-Master lens lineup. Beyond the sensor and AF, Sony also needs to address real-world usability concerns, heat management, ergonomics, and battery efficiency, which are often the Achilles heel of compact hybrid bodies. A passive cooling redesign, maybe inspired by the FX3's internal heat dispersion system, could allow longer, uninterrupted recording sessions without adding unnecessary weight or bulk. Meanwhile, a brighter fully articulating screen, higher refresh rate EDF, and refined menu interface would be small but vital quality of life improvements that make a massive difference on professional sets. And let's not forget about storage and connectivity, dual CF Express Type-A or hybrid card slots would future-proof the camera for next-gen codecs and higher bit rates, while Wi-Fi 6E, USB-C 3.2, and full-size HDMI outputs would round out a modern connectivity package perfect for studio, live streaming, or mobile workflows. For creators like me, the dream is to have a single body that can handle commercial shoots, cinematic projects, YouTube content, and professional photography all in one lightweight package, and the Sony A7 V might be the closest we've ever come to that. The key phrase here is, hybrid powerhouse, a camera that can do it all without compromise. This would make it a serious competitor not just to Canon's or 5 Mark II or Nikon Z92, but also to high-end cinema hybrids like the Panasonic S1H or Blackmagic Cinema 6K. If Sony manages to bring A1 level performance down to the mid-$3000 range, this could be one of the most important releases of 2025, setting new standards for full-frame mirrorless cameras. From a creative standpoint, features like 6K oversampling, open gate recording, in-body 5-axis stabilization, and S-Cinetone color science could allow filmmakers to produce cinematic grade results without needing an entire crew or massive setup. And for photographers, an improved burst rate, faster buffer clearing, and better color rendering would make the A7 V an all-around beast for portraits, sports, and landscapes alike. What excites me most, though, is the potential synergy between Sony's hardware and their AI-powered software ecosystem, imagine real-time scene recognition, dynamic exposure adjustment, or automatic focus mapping powered by machine learning. That's where the industry is heading, and Sony has the tools to get there first. The A7 V could be the perfect fusion of speed, intelligence, and creativity, designed for modern visual storytellers who demand versatility without compromise. If this camera delivers on even half of these expectations, stacked sensor, internal 4K 120, improved heat control, and advanced autofocus, it will instantly dominate the hybrid camera market. Until Sony confirms the specs, all we can do is speculate, but one thing's for sure, when the A7 V finally launches, it will shake the entire mirrorless landscape. So, whether you're a filmmaker chasing buttery slow motion, a photographer craving more detail and dynamic range, or a content creator looking for the ultimate all-in-one setup, keep your eyes on Sony's next move, 
because the Sony A7 V could be the creative revolution we've all been waiting for.